your life. So, all right. Welcome back to chapel. We're so glad that you're with us today and hope that you will enjoy the songs that we have selected for, de- for today. They are a little bit different because these are all songs about the Holy Spirit. We uh, speak of the triune God, three in one, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so today we're going to sing some songs that are particularly about the Holy Spirit and the work of the Holy Spirit. And so I think it'll be a, a good time for us. Some of these songs you might not have heard of. They're all old songs, but it just depends on where you grew up. And uh, I even found one that Bill didn't know. So we'll see how that goes today. <laughs> I have to work hard to find one that he does not know. Well, will you bow with me in prayer? Oh, and I am going to, I want to read to you the song, the verse of um, one of the songs that we are singing because it is such a, a lovely prayer. And so will you bow with me as I use the words of we are gathered for thy blessing as our opening prayer today. Lord, we are gathered for your blessing. We will wait upon our God. We will trust in him who loved us and who bought us with his blood. We will glory in your power. We will sing of wondrous grace in our midst as you have promised. Come, O oh come and take your place. Bring us low in prayer before you and with faith our souls inspire till we claim by faith the promise of the Holy Spirit and fire. Amen. Well, let's sing Amazing Grace, and then we will join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. join together in praying the Lord's Prayer as we give thanks for God's amazing grace. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, let's sing Amazing Grace one more time, and then we'll sing When We've Been There 10,000 Years. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. today is one that we often associate with thanksgiving. Uh, We gather together to ask the Lord's blessings, but this is really ought to be true of us every time we come to worship. We gather together and we ask for God's blessings. And so let's sing together. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. We gather together to verses 1 through 4 say may God be gracious to us and bless us 
and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon the earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations on earth. These are the words of the second and third verses. Beside us to guide us, our God with us joining, ordaining, maintaining his kingdom divine. So from the beginning, the fight we were winning. Thou, Lord, wast at our side, all glory be thine. We all do extol thee, praise thee, thou leader triumphant, and pray that you still our defender will be. Let your congregation escape tribulation. Your name, your name be ever praised. O oh Lord, make us free. You can see why we sing that at Thanksgiving, at the national celebration of Thanksgiving. Well, let's sing that verse one more time. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He changed since I going to sing uh, what is for me a worship song, uh, one that we sing, uh, particularly my memories are of singing it on Communion Sunday. Uh, and so I, I always associate it with coming to worship and then also of times of Holy Communion. So let's uh, sing together, uh, Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy, Holy, Holy. Isaiah 6, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings. With two, they covered their faces. With two, they covered their feet. And with two, they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the thresholds shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, yet... Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Let's sing that one more time. Holy, holy, holy. So again, we're singing songs about the Holy Spirit, and Holy, Holy, Holy talks about Blessed Trinity. And in this song, Spirit of Faith, we sing about the Holy Spirit. It is a prayer for the Holy Spirit to come and be and live within us. Um, 
Let's sing the first verse and then we'll um, read some more. Spirit of faith come down, reveal the things of God, and bring to us the God and known, and witness with His blood, to sign the blood of God, and give us eyes to see. Corinthians 2 9 through 13 says it is written what no eye has seen nor ear heard nor the human heart conceived God what God has prepared for those who love him these things God has revealed to us through the Spirit for the Spirit searches everything even the depths of God for what human being knows what is truly human except the human spirit that is within? So also, no one comprehends what is truly God's except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. And we speak of these things in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual. Let's sing Spirit of Faith Come Down one more time. Spirit of Faith Come Down Reveal the things of God And make to us the God and known And witness with His blood told his disciples not to be afraid because he had told them that he was leaving. And he said, because if I leave, the Father will send another advocate, comforter, the Holy Spirit. And he will remind us of the things that Jesus said. And so this is a great reminder through this prayer. Spirit of faith, come down. Our next hymn is an old song that I do not actually remember growing up singing it, but learned it somehow along the way, and it is called Pentecostal Power. So those of you who grew up in a Pentecostal tradition probably sang this song much more frequently than many of the rest of us. In Acts 1.8, we read, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses. Let's sing this uh, Pentecostal power. Let's sing the first verse. Not too fast, Bill. Lord, as of old at Pentecost, and it's the power display, with cleansing, purifying flame, descend on us today. Chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, we read, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit... Well, actually, that's chapter 1, verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And then in chapter 2, When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house. 
and a tongue rested on each of them. Uh, divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability. Isn't that a wonderful story of the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon the early disciples and then they're using that gift of God-given language to be able to speak to people from all over the world who were gathered in Jerusalem that day so that the people exclaimed that aren't these all Galileans and yet we are all hearing it in our own native tongue. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's sing this great hymn again. Lord, as our bold at Pentecost, Thou didst thy power display, With cleansing purifying flame, Descend on us today. Lord, send the old-time power, The Pentecost of power, The floodgates of blessing, Did we sing that three times? No. Oh, oh, just twice. Okay. Well, good. I thought maybe I snuck another one in there. No, but I just thought maybe I snuck another one in there on us. Well, our next hymn is the one that I mentioned earlier that Bill told me that he had not known before. So I told Bill that it's not true that you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> And he sort of questioned the old dog day. part <laughs> because Bill has learned a new song today. And we're all learning. <laughs> we are gathered for thy blessing. And it is also known as old time power. And you'll no notice that in the uh, uh, chorus. When we get to the end of the chorus, you'll hear those words. All right, let's, let's sing that together, Bill. We are gathered for thy blessing. We will wait upon our God. We will trust in Him who loved us and who bought us with His blood. Spirit of the Lord, all of our hearts with love, breathe on us from above with all time. those words oh. we will glory in your power we will sing of wondrous grace in our midst as you have promised come and take your place bring us low in prayer before thee and with faith our souls inspire till we claim by faith the promise of the Holy Spirit and fire we use these words as our prayer when we began today Let's sing that one more time. We are gathered for thy blessing. We will wait upon our God. We will trust in him who loves us and who bought us with his blood. meaningful prayer for us to remember. So I hope that you have enjoyed hearing it as our prayer, but also singing those words today. Our next song is Breathe On Me. No, is Revive, Revive Us Again. Okay, this, this is an old song that uh, I grew up singing. I hope you did. Revive Us Again. And um, 
it's a great, great hymn of revival and renew our spirit, create in us new hearts, revive us again. And let's sing that together. We praise thee, O God, for the love of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Hallelujah, find the glory, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, find the glory, revivals again. Psalm 85, verses 4 through 7 read, Restore us again, O God of our salvation, and put away your indignation toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again so that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. The second verse reads, We praise thee, O God, for thy spirit of love, the Holy Spirit, who has shown us our Savior and scattered our night. All glory and praise to the Lamb that was slain, who has borne all our sins and has cleansed every stain. Revive us again. Fill each heart with your love. May each soul be rekindled with fire from above. Let's sing that one more time. And don't forget to sing hallelujah. That's the best part. Of it. We praise the O God for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Hallelujah, find the glory. him is another prayer for the Spirit of God to come. We, we sang the song about um, we're gathered for your blessing, Spirit of faith come down. Um, let's see, what else were we saying? Pentecostal power, Lord send the old time power. We sang songs about the Holy Spirit coming to dwell within us. And this hymn is entitled Spirit of God descend upon my heart. Let's sing that, and then we'll, I'll read some scripture for you. Spirit of God, descend upon my heart. Lead it from earth through all its pulses blue. Stoop to my weakness, my dear Descend upon my heart, wean it from earth, through all its pulses move. Stoop to my weakness, mighty as thou art, and make me love thee as I ought to love. I ask no dream, no prophet ecstasies, no sudden rending of the veil of clay, no angel visitation, no opening skies, but take the dimness of my soul away. Oh my goodness, what a wonderful phrase. Have you ever felt just your soul is dim? There's no light or very little? And we just want the Spirit of God to descend upon our hearts and take away the dimness, don't we? The sadness, the grief, the anger, the hurt, whatever it is. Has you, have you not bid us love you, God and King? All, all your own, soul, heart and strength and mind. I see your cross. There teach my heart to cling. Oh, let me seek you and oh, let me find. Let's sing that one more time. Spirit of God, descend upon my heart. Please
is another prayer, a prayer to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Breathe on me, breath of God. Mm -hmm. Fill me with life anew, that I may love what you love and love what you would do. Ooh, that's a, that's a powerful prayer, isn't it? Help me to see as you see and to love as you love. Let's sing that first verse and then I'll tell you a little bit about this one. Breathe on me, breath of God, fill me with life on you, that I may love thee, love as love, and do what thou wouldst do. Boy, that's a great hymn. It was written in 1878 by someone named Edwin Hatch. I don't know anything about him. I'll have to look that up. In John, in John 20, 21, and 22, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. So let's sing this prayer one more time. Breathe on me, breath of God. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with life anew. And I will love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. And now we come to a song, to our ending song, and it is called Blessed Quietness. And um, this is one I did not grow up singing, but learned uh, singing while I was in, the, learned to sing when I was in nursing school and having to attend a different church because of the distance. And so I learned this song, and I like this song. Joys are flowing like a ri river since the comforter has come. Remember what Jesus said? I will pray the Father, and he will send you a comforter, the Holy Spirit, who will abide with you and be in you, and he will call to mind all that I have taught you. So this is about, this song is about the quietness and rest that comes to us in, with the Holy Spirit in our lives. So let's sing this great, and it has um, a lengthy chorus, so for those of you in the chapel, it'll be on the back, so when we get to the chorus, you'll have to turn over to the back of the page. Let's sing. Joys are flowing like a river since the comforter has come. He abides with us forever, makes the trusting heart his home. Blessed quietness, holy quietness, what assurance is my soul. great blessed quietness holy quietness what assurance in my soul on the stormy sea he speaks peace to me how the billows cease to roll the second verse says bringing life and health and gladness all around this heavenly guest banished unbelief and sadness changed our weariness to rest. Like the rain that falls from heaven, like the sunlight of the sky, and so the Holy Ghost is given, coming on us from on high. See, a fruitful field is growing, blessed fruit of righteousness, and the streams of life are flowing in the lonely wilderness. What a wonderful salvation, where we always see his face. What a perfect habitation. What a quiet resting place. Let's sing Joys Are Flowing Like a River one more time. Joys are flowing like a river since the comforter has come. He abides with us forever, makes the trusting heart his home. Blessed quietness, holy quietness, what assurance in 
That's our last song. Ah, oh, what a shame. It seems like it goes by so fast. Well, we have come to the time where we will read or recite together the 23rd Psalm. Uh, so I ask you to join with me now as we read or recite together. The, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He leadeth, restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Will you receive this benediction, and then we will sing our parting song, God be with you till we meet again. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forever. Amen. God be with you. God be with you till we meet again. By his counsel's guide uphold you. With his sheep securely fold you. God be with you till we meet again. Till we meet Jesus meet till we meet till we meet God be with you till we meet again may God be with you till we meet again Bill